I am very pleased to be here. Uh, we've had a very constructive meeting with the president. We, the patriots, and I believe you know what the patriots are. The patriots are a non-partisan group of eminent Nigerians, some call us leaders of thought, who are committed to the unity of our country and good governance of our country under a legitimate people's democratic constitution. So we came to convey this view that Nigeria needs a people's democratic constitution. Nigeria, we affirmed to Mr. President, is a pluralistic country. And you know that pluralistic countries exist all over the world. Those of them that addressed their pluralism by having true federal constitutions have survived. The example is India and Canada. But those pluralistic countries that failed to address their basic challenge of pluralism through federal constitution have ended up disintegrating. Examples of that are Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia and here in Africa, Sudan. These countries existed in the case of Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia for about 100 years as one country, but they eventually dis disintegrated because they could not manage their pluralism through truly federal <coughs> constitution. And we put some proposals to Mr. President. And uh, we uh, urged him to send a president's executive bill to the National Assembly, a bill that will call for two essential measures. One, the convening of a national constituent assembly to be mandated to produce a new draft constitution. And we suggested that such national constituent assembly should consist of individuals elected by the people on non-party basis. Say, for example, three individuals per state, per each of the 36 states and one from the federal capital territory. And they should be mandated to produce a new draft constitution. And we also suggested that in the bill, the National Assembly should be asked to legislate for a national referendum because as our laws stand at the moment, we have no provision for a national referendum. And we concluded by saying that the draft constitution to emerge from the Constituent Assembly should be subjected to the national referendum in order to give the peoples of Nigeria a chance to determine 
their new constitution. We also talked about the current crisis of protests throughout the country. And we uh, suggested, advised the president, that in our view, the government at the federal and state levels should dialogue with the leaders of the protests. The government should take the initiative in dialoguing with the leaders of the protests. And secondly, we advised that the law enforcement agencies, namely the police and the army, should avoid using lethal weapons in the management of the protests so that we do not have casualties, people killed because the law and order enforcement agencies are managing the protests. So these were the points that we put to Mr. President. With the challenges facing this country, the challenge of national unity, the challenge of insecurity, the challenge of poverty and hunger, I do not believe that the cost of setting up a constituent assembly with the mandate to produce a constitution because all these challenges that we are currently facing are symptoms, symptoms of the inappropriateness of the constitution that we have at present, the inappropriateness of the governance system we have at present. And I'm sure that when a national constituent assembly looks at all these and looks at all the recommendations of past efforts to call national conference, um, in my personal view, the new constitution can be realized within, say, nine months, six to nine months, if the bill is passed and the National Assembly passes the bills and, and the Constituent Assembly is convened and they deliberate, uh, we can accomplish that within nine months. As to the difference between the expected new Constitution and what we have now, what we have now does not make for effective internal security measures. It does not make for rapid economic development. It does not make for satisfactory social development, say in education and health and so on. And I believe that the new constitution would make it easier for these challenges to be tackled. In the countries that have written constitution, they have generally gone through the process of a national referendum because it is a national referendum the view of the citizens of the country that confer legitimacy to a written constitution. And there are examples of countries with constitutions that found it necessary to change and have a new constitution that went through the process of a referendum. And that is why the referendum is necessary.